Oh. I thought you were never coming. Oh. Well, I've had a wonderful day, Toby, but oh, I'm glad to be home. And I've brought the Christmas tree. Bring it in, Boggis. There. Isn't that lovely? You called me Toby. Well, how could I tell which of you it was with your face hidden in my shoulder? Now, tell me what you've done all day. Besides letting Boggy scare you half to death, telling you stories I told him not to tell you. I beg pardon, ma'am, but he asked me. Straight out he did. Mm. So now you know the story of our curse. But we leave old Noah alone now, take no notice of him. Even curses don't last forever. Oh, darling, you've put everything ready. He's horrid now. Don't think about him. St. Christopher is much more lasting. Who's St. Christopher? Oh. He's the stone man by the chapel. He carried the infant Jesus across a river in a storm, thinking it would be easy. But halfway across, the child grew as heavy as the sorrow of the whole world. Linnet loved him quite specially. Linnet's not afraid of anything. She said... Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Will you come with me to Midnight Mass? Listen to that wind. It's a good night for telling stories. Will you join us, Boggis? Don't mind if I do. What shall it be about? Tell me a story Tell about... Tell him the one about St. Christopher. Toby and Alexander went with their mother on foot to midnight mass across the river in Penny Soakey. But Linnet was too young to walk so far. Had to be put to bed. It's not fair, Orlando. Well, I shall not care. I shall stay awake till midnight by myself. You must stay awake too, Orlando. We must stay awake. And then won't they be surprised when they come back and find us still awake? Granny, hmm? can we give them a present? What do you suggest? And a partridge in a pear tree.
Shall we still that a midnight mass if it snows? Yes, if you're not... with you. 